when you live in a war zone area, there is nothing else to think about. My life before I came to America was pretty much focused on safety, security, and stability. So when we went to the hospital, the electricity power was not available because we had a nearby explosion. And then they gave me like anesthesia more than what was needed. So I was not able to wake up easily. So I almost lost my, my life for it. It took us five years and a half. A lot of interviews, like really hard interviews, and a lot of security background checks, and a lot of medical exams, and so many other things before we finally got the visa. Some of our patients are refugee, and some of them are refugees from the same country I come from, so I can easily relate to them, and they know, you know, they can easily relate to me as well. Going to a doctor is not easy, you know, you worry a lot about your health. So imagine if you need to worry as well about other things like how to communicate with the healthcare provider if you don't share a common language. The need for language access services here at Mountain Park is generally high. One out of three encounters here at Mountain Park needs language services. This is why we are here today to celebrate that a new group of highly skilled interpreters are joining our field. Finally, I got my naturalization ceremony scheduled last April. It was a very emotional moment for me. I was so happy that the diversity and community affairs team attended my ceremony. The marketing engagement team was there as well. I felt very much like my family was there also with me. Finally, I am a U.S. citizen. I feel lucky and blessed to be working with my colleagues here at Mountain Park.